Hey everybody, welcome to the next singing video here on YouTube. Well kids, do you like that rock and roll, as uh, David Letterman used to say? <laughs> That's what I got here today. <clears throat> this is a song called Glad All Over by the Dave Clark Five. It was released in 1963, co-written by Dave Clark and Mike Smith. <clears throat> this is my first Dave Clark Five song on my YouTube playlist, My Karaoke Songs. And it's the 237th video on there in total. I did make a video of this song on SingSnap back around 2020 or 21. But a little bit about the songwriters of this song, glad all over. <laughs> uh, co-writer Clark has written or co-written 23 songs that have been recorded by more than one artist. From Chiquita, originally by the Dave Clark Five in August 1962, to Time, originally by Freddie Mercury in January of 1986. And, uh, Clark co-wrote and produced the 1986 London stage musical Time, starring Mercury, where that song was in. And then, all but two of those songs that uh, Clark co-wrote, or wrote himself, were originally by the Dave Clark Five. The other two were by Mercury, from that show Time, <clears throat> on the stage in London. Co-writer Smith, Mike Smith, he has co-written 13 songs that have been recorded by more than one artist. From the aforementioned Chiquita to 3406, originally by the Dave Clark Five in October 1969. Glad All Over was originally recorded by the Dave Clark Five in September of 1963. It featured Smith leading unison group vocals, often in call and response style, a saxophone line used not for solo decoration but underneath the whole song and a big air hammer beat <clears throat> that underpinned the wall of sound production known as the Tottenham Sound. Not the Phil Spector wall of sound, I guess. <laughs> That's a totally different thing. The song was released first in the UK on the Columbia label on November 15, 1963, with the B-side I Know You. The producer was given as Adrian Clark, which represented the two co-producers' names combined, Adrian Carriage and Dave Clark. The song is in the beat and pop rock genres. Personnel on the recording were Mike Smith on double tracked lead and harmony vocals and Vox Continental Organ, Dave Clark on backing vocals and drums, Lenny Davidson on backing vocals and guitars, Rick Huxley on backing vocals and bass, and Dennis Payton on backing vocals and saxophone, with session drummer Bobby Graham on drums, too. Uh, Glad All Over was released in the U.S. on December 27, 1963 on the Epic label, as Epic in the U.S. had a cross-licensing deal with Columbia in the U.K. It entered the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 Top 40 on March the 7th, 1964, giving Dave Clark Five their first U.S. Top 40 pop hit. The song had already reached number one on the U.K. singles chart in January 1964, and kicked off the DC5 vs. the Beatles rivalry, booting I Want to Hold Your Hand from the number one spot in the UK. In the US, it peaked at number six on the Billboard in April 1964, becoming the first British invasion hit by a group other than the Beatles. Uh, Glad All Over charted for 11 weeks on the US Billboard Hot 100. It was also number one in Ireland and New Zealand, number two in Canada, number three in Australia, number four in the Netherlands, Number 5 on the U.S. Cashbox Top 100, and number 16 in Germany. On the year-end charts, it ranked number 58 in the U.K. for 1963, based only on uh, November and December of that year sales. Number 2 there for 1964 behind Can't Buy Me Love by the Beatles. It also ranked number 9 in the U.S. Cashbox, number 22 in Australia, and number 23 in the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 for 1964. In 1993, Glad All Over was reissued as a single in the UK and reached number 37 on the UK singles chart. <clears throat> and now another little sidebar here. <laughs> Got all these little notes made here. <clears> oh <throat> uh, well, gr uh, <clears throat> Glad All Over was included on the Dave Clark Five's American debut studio album as track one, on side one, with the album's title track, released on March 17, 1964. So, Glad All Over has been used by several UK-based soccer and rugby teams, particularly Crystal Palace FC. They adopted the song as their anthem in the 1960s. 
The Dave Clark Five played it live at their home pitch, Selhurst Park, on February 10th, 1968. The cover version, sung by the squad at the time, was released as part of their FA Cup run, where they reached the final in 1990. Uh, 60 cover versions of Glad All Over have been released to date. 42 of those are in English, three instrumentals, one in English with a different title and lyrics but the same music, two in French, two in German, two in Italian, and eight in Spanish. Some of those in English are <clears throat> by Billy Fury with the Gamblers in 1964 on their DECA single, Hippie Hippie Shake, by the Deltones in October 1966 on their calendar album, The Deli's Bust Out, Burst Out, sorry, The Deli's Burst Out, <laughs> by Quiet Riot in 1977 on their CBS Sony self-titled album released only in Japan, by Susie Quattro in 1980 on her Dreamland album, Rock Hard, by Crystal Palace FC 1990 FA Cup Final Squad in April 1990 on their Parkfield music single, Glad All Over, Where Eagles Fly, by Pet Shop Boys on November 26, 2010 on their Parlophone single, together with the Kate and Anna McGarrigal song, I Cried For Us, by Joan Jett, John Mellencamp, John Fogarty, and Billy Joel in 2011 on the Time Life music album, Best of Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Museum Live by the Typhoons. These are the ones I haven't heard of before. Those first seven were <laughs> just the ones that I'd heard of. So out of a hundred and I wonder how many were there? Yeah, sixty. So out of all sixty of them, I'd only heard of seven. <laughs> so to fill up the, up to ten, we'll have uh, three more. The, the Typhoons in December 1963 on their Embassy single with the Barrett Strong song Money. That was actually the first cover version done after the original, then by the Leon Young String Chorale in June 1964 on their Atco Records album Liverpool Sound for Strings, and by Denny Satan and the Sabres in 1964 on their Wing album It's the Gear. <laughs> One thing I wish I could do is show you guys all the different album covers that these albums, uh, <laughs> these cover versions were on, because they're pretty cool to look at on the <laughs> Secondhand Songs uh, website that I used to find all these cover versions at. <clears throat> so, now a little bit about the Dave Clark Five, the band itself. <clears throat> so the Dave Clark Five, also known as the DC Five, were an English rock and roll band for, formed in 1958 in Tottenham, London, England. They started as the backing musicians for North London vocalist Stan Saxon. Dave Clark, born David Clark, on December 15th, 1939, age 84, he's age 84 now, still living. He was born in Tottenham, England. <clears throat> he played drums and contributed background vocals alongside a frequently changing lineup at first. Clark and guitarist Rick Huxley, born August the 5th, 1940 in Dartford, England. He died on February 11th, 2013, aged 72 of emphysema in Buckinghamshire, England. Uh, both participated in the 1958 lineup, the originals. Clark and his bandmates eventually split with Saxon and, and reconstituted themselves as a standalone concern in January 1962, making their home in the South Grove Youth Club in Tottenham. After a little more evolution in the group, the lasting ensemble was settled, with Clark on drums, <coughs> Huxley moving to bass, Lenny Davidson, who was born Leonard Arthur Davidson on May 30th, 1944. He's still alive today, age 79. He was born in Enfield, England. Davidson on lead guitar. Dennis Payton, born Dennis West, Dennis West Payton, August the 11th, 1943, in Walthamstow, England, and died on December 17th, 2006, aged 63, of cancer in Bournemouth, England. He played saxophone and harmonica and second guitar sometimes. And Mike Smith, who was born Michael George Smith on December 6th, 1943, in Edmonton, England not Alberta, <laughs> and died on February 28th, 2008, aged 64, in Aylesbury, England, of pneumonia, a complication from an accident in 2003 in which he was left permanently paralyzed. And Mike Smith was on keyboards and main vocals. The band was active in the music business as the Dave Clark Five until 1970, when they disbanded, and then they got back together, some of the members did, from 1970 to 1973 as the spin-off group Dave Clark and Friends. They recorded for the Capitol label in addition to Columbia, EMI, and Epic. <clears throat> and let me see here. The group starred in the movie 
Having a Wild Weekend, which was released abroad as Catch Us If You Can in 1965. As a band, 708 records, wow, a lot of records, plus two records with other artists for a total of 710 were released on them between 1962 and 1993. The band's discography includes 20 studio albums, 12 compilation albums, three extended plays, and 47 singles, four of which re reached number one. Okay, so now <clears throat> I'm going to sing Glad All Over, which is track number 13 off of this CD right here, <clears throat> which I'm getting through very well. <clears throat> Two more songs to go after today, and then we're all done. <clears throat> and I learned my lesson from the last video. I'm going to have a little drinky poo of water here before I start. Mm -hmm. I about croaked on my last one, so there you go. Let's see if that'll get me through it all right. <clears throat> Now we go to sing, uh, <coughs> sing snap. That's my old system before, but this here is Carifunk. Carifunk karaoke, let's try this. We got Glad All Over in the style of the Dave Clark Five, co-written by Dave Clark and Mike Smith. Loading right up here. <laughs> Come on now, load up for me here. All right, just about ready to start. Mr. Carifunk here. Here we go. Oh yeah. You say that you love me all of the time. You say that you need me. You'll always be mine. I'm not feeling glad all over. Yes, I'm glad all over. are a little wonky there so <laughs> a few times I got kind of sidetracked and screwed up but uh, whoo boy that was fun <laughs> hope you all enjoyed that little song there and uh, well I sure did enjoy that <laughs> it's a good thing I had my water alongside me <laughs> I needed that so now after this we're gonna take a little break again until next uh, Saturday or so nope Sunday actually Sunday <laughs> I get totally screwed with what day it is it's going to be Sunday, 
which is uh, actually Indy 500 day, which is interesting. <clears throat> Big day of racing coming up Sunday, and it's also day for another song on here, which is going to be <clears throat> a song by the Beatles. How about that? <laughs> I've been talking so much about the Beatles during the Dave Clark 5 bit there. <clears throat> Next time we're going to have a song, which is one of my favorite Beatles songs of all time, called Ticket to Ride by the Beatles. So join me then. It should be fun. <clears throat> have a good day now. Bye now.